Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my full dividend portfolio using trackyourdividends.com. The link will be down in the description. It's a completely free site to use to help me track my dividends and show me how much I'm going to get paid from each company. Now, I'm not showing you guys my full growth portfolio, not just yet. And this portfolio is just going to show my dividend stocks and how much I'm going to make this year from my dividends alone. It's also going to show me how much I'm going to get paid every month and also my future projections. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on trackyourdividends.com. This is one of the sites I use to keep track of all of my dividends and how much I'm going to get paid. So just my dividend stocks alone, my account is around $12,250. I'm still down almost $1,000 due to the pandemic. I have a dividend yield of 4.39%. My yield on cost is 4.07. And this year, I still have to update my portfolio. I wanted to wait to update it so I could show you guys exactly how to do it. But right now, I have a $537 annual income from just my dividends alone this year if I don't buy any more dividends. Now, what I did do a couple moments ago, I purchased some shares of PEY. So I'm going to show you guys how to plug that into trackyourdividends.com. I already own PEY, but right now it showed I only have 15 shares. So all you have to do is hit edit. And then now on Robinhood, it shows that I have 45 shares, not just 15 and my average cost is $15.08. And then I'm going to hit edit. So then you should see my annual income go from 537 and it should jump up some from me adding these shares of PEY. So let's click that. And there it go, it went from 537 to now I'm going to be bringing in $560 annual income this year from dividends alone. I already went through and updated my entire portfolio. I just held off on PEY so I could show you guys how to um, update your portfolio. It's that simple. Now I'm gonna show you guys my stocks and how much I make from dividends from each company. All right, so in alphabetical order, here we are. The first one is Apple, I have 7.8 shares. I'm gonna be collecting $6.43 from Apple. The next one is AGNC, I have 95 shares. I'm going to be collecting $174.80 from AGNC over the course of a full year. The next one is CLF, one share, 16 cents. Clorox, 2.24 shares at $9.95. The next one is DIL, Delta Airlines, I have five shares. I'm going to be collecting $8.05. Disney, five shares, $8.80. Ford, 22 shares, $16.50. Uh, GPS, uh, gap at 12 shares, $11.64. IIPR, one share at $4.24. Intel, one share at $1.32. Uh, Coca Cola, six shares, $9.84. LUV, 4.5 shares, that's uh, Southwest Airlines, at $3.25. Uh, 3M, two shares, a lot, $11.76. Microsoft, half a share. A dollar and sixteen cents. NRZ, one hundred and seventy shares, sixty-eight dollars. Ticker symbol O, Realty Income, seven shares, nineteen dollars and sixty-six cents. PEP, Pepsi, one share, four dollars and nine cents. PEY, forty-five shares, thirty-four dollars and sixty-one cents. PSEC, six shares, four dollars and thirty-two cents. SPHD, thirty shares. $55.47. SPYD, 14 shares, $23.90. AT&T, 15 shares, $31.20. TNA, 38 shares, $6.12. Venom, 10 shares, $10.40. VLO, one share, $5.34. Uh, waste Management, two shares, $4.84. Walmart, seven shares, $16.39. Water, five shares, $4.77. And ExxonMobil, one share, $3.48. So that is my entire dividend portfolio, uh, which is gonna bring me in $560 this year alone. Um, let's take a quick look at the uh, profit loss. 
I've lost the most on NRZ. If I would have just got rid of NRZ in my portfolio, I would definitely be up. I would definitely be up because this one put me in a hole by a long shot. I'm trying to wait for it to recover. If it doesn't recover in the next year, I'm just gonna get on ahead and get rid of it. The ones I had the most profit on is Walmart, Clorox, IPR, and Gap, up $92, $68, $51.34. My highest dividend yield is PSEC at 14%, Venom at 13%, and AGNC at 12.63%. The one that's gonna bring me in the most money is AGNC with $174, and I also have a profit of $36, so this is amazing stock for me right now nrz is bringing is going to bring me in 68 dollars and sphd is going to bring me in 55 dollars and pey is going to bring me in 34 dollars the company with the safest score is walmart 3m clorox apple waste management luv and coca-cola so and pepsi so all of these come at 94 94 and then the rest is at 99 i mean they are not at risk of having their dividends cut. The ones with the lowest score is AGNC and IIPR with 10 and 19. That's why everyone says AGNC is so dangerous because it has such a high dividend yield and a low safety dividend score. Now, if you guys wanna try this out, once again, it's a completely free site. The link is down in the description. Let's take a look at a couple more things. Here is my diversification. It shows me how diverse I am throughout all the sectors. My biggest sector right now is ETFs and real estate when it comes to my dividend portfolio. And let's take a look at the future value if I continue to grow um, this year. So this is the future growth. If I don't invest in any more at all for the next 10 years, this was what my dividend portfolio would be in the next 10 years uh, at $19,450 and I'll be bringing in $951. That's if I don't invest any more into the stock market or reinvest my dividends. This is what I'll be making in the next 10 years. So different tools they have, they have a stock analysis tool, a stock popularity tool, but those, uh, they come at a little cost at this site, but you can use all these other tools for free if you wanna try out this website, trackyourdividends.com. All right, YouTube, and that's it. I'm gonna bring in a little over $560 so far right now this year in dividends alone. I'm gonna continue to build out my PEY um, stock portfolio until I have around 100 shares. So that should put me around the $600 annual mark. If I continue to grow that, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Please don't miss out on that video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that video. But if you guys wanna try out trackyourdividends.com, the link is down in the description. You can go over there, sign up. It's completely free and you can play around in that portfolio. And once you do that, come back and let me know how much money are you gonna make in annual dividends this year? Just type that down in the comment section. Let me know how much you're gonna make. So, you know, we can start a community tab down there on how much, on how much growth you had in your dividend portfolio over the next couple of years. So if you stuck all the way to the end in this video, just go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. It really do just hitting a simple thumbs up button. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say except for stay tuned because when I do my full portfolio reveal, you guys don't wanna miss that. So subscribe to the channel. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.